everyone welcome back to my channel so today it's Wednesday which is time for another video and today I'm gonna show you what's in my work bag I haven't done this video and that really surprises me because usually it's the video that they all start with on their YouTube channel um, it's usually one of the first videos that you film because it's one of the easiest so um, yeah, I don't know why I haven't done that yet, uh, but today's the day, so let's go into my work bag. So the bag that I currently uh, take to work is a new addition to my uh, handbag collection. I bought it um, back in July when I visited Edinburgh and uh, it was in the Kurt Geiger sale. It's the Kurt Geiger London tote bag. And it's the cream blue one with white handles and a white shoulder strap. And I, I really, really love this bag. My work laptop doesn't fit in here, so I carry a separate laptop bag with me. So that's why there's no laptop in here. So before going into my bag, I just want to say something about uh, bag itself because it's fairly new so I thought I would also do a review. Um, the bag is a Kurt Geiger London tote bag and like I said it's in the baby blue cream white combination and first I uh, wanted to have a plain bag maybe um, taupe or grey or black but when I was in the shop I saw this one and it was in the sale so <laughs> that was a pro and um, the color combination really uh, spoke to me so that's why I um, chose this one I was a little bit concerned that it wouldn't um, go with all my um, outfits or my jackets but until now that's not a problem at all and I'm, I'm really really happy I bought this uh, this color because it's something different so as for the back um, it doesn't wear at all I don't have any scratches or anything, um, even on the bottom of the bag, there are no scratches, no nothing, and um, I have to say I am careful with it, but I do use it as just a bag. I do take care of them and I do, um, I am careful with them when I wear them, but I don't uh, put them on a shelf and never, never use them. Um, the bag is very durable, it does keep its shape, uh, whatever you put in it. The shoulder strap is very nice, it's adjustable. I don't know if you can see it, but it's adjustable uh, on both sides, so you can make it longer and shorter. I um, usually wear it on my shoulder, um, and yeah, it's, it's really nice. The strap doesn't um, cut into my skin or anything. And um, yeah, so far I'm very, very happy with the bag and I would definitely recommend it. So having said that, um, now we're really going into the bag. So uh, it's now Sunday when I filmed this and I uh, came home from work on Friday. I just took my phone out of it and then I just put it into the, the cupboard where, it, uh, where I put all my bags. So I haven't done taken anything out of here so let's see what you come across so the bag itself has um, two compartments and then one zippy compartment I, I hope you can see this um, so I'm first gonna go through the big uh, open compartments and then I'm gonna go through the zippy compartments so first there is a um, large shopping bag. Uh, it's very durable and it's foldable so I like that. Then an empty chewing gum wrapper, a full chewing gum wrapper, um, deodorant, And then we have some uh, lady stuff, some tampons and some um, panty liners. 
Then we have some blister plasters. I think this is um, a must have if you work in an office and wear heels very often. Then we come into the, um, ah, there's a computer mouse that I work, use on my work laptop. My inhaler, because I have asthma, so I carry my inhaler around. Then some fishermen friends. There are a couple of them left. Then we come into <laughs> all the lipsticks that I carry around. I have currently in my bag the Tanya Burr Cosmetics Matte Lip in the shade Martha Moo. I have... whoops. Um, a Max Factor lipstick. Ooh, stuff is falling off the table that I have in front of me where I put my stuff on. Um, which might <laughs> mean that I carry too much around, but we'll see. Um, a Max Factor lipstick in the shade Simply Nude 725. And an Imani lipstick, uh, Prismatic. Uh, Prismatic lipstick, I believe. It has two... Uh, two sides, a darker side and a um, lighter side. And this one is in the shade Celestial. And that was it for the first uh, big compartment. Then the second um, compartment that I have, I have a um, just a plain notepad. Um, I carry around a paper diary even though I work in an office and I have my office diary on my laptop. Oops. Um, I do find it very um, useful to have a paper diary as well because I put my uh, personal appointments in there. What else? What else is in here? Um, I have a wrapper for my SIM card because I usually, I recently uh, swapped provider, and I have a loyalty card from Metze, which is a lunch place that I go uh, to often. It has some delicious falafel uh, in Amstelveen Starthart. And I have two lip balms in here. First is the Lano Lips in the shade. Um, shade? No. Taste, I think. I'm not sure. It's uh, the strawberry one, it's the multi balm. And I have a Burt's Bees replenishing uh, lip balm in with pomegranate oil. This one. I always carry around lip balms because I find that I have uh, dry lips very quickly and even um, even in the summer though, um, so they're in my bag all, all year round. Now we're gonna go, I can show you. The two compartments are now empty and now I'm gonna go into the zippy compartment, which usually holds uh, three things in there, my phone, my card holder and my wallet. So my phone is not in here because I took it out after I came home from work. I have a Ted Baker um, card holder which has um, some room for cash or receipts and uh, my cards. Um, and I also have my wallet. This is a uh, Rolf Lauren uh, wallet that I got for my graduation for a master's degree and um, I usually put my cash in here. I um, carry this one around uh, most of the time because all my loyalty cards are in here and when I have a smaller bag I travel only with my card holder but when I have a bigger bag I just put both of them in and um, it's very useful with cash. So. So this was everything what was in my uh, work bag and nothing too embarrassing. <laughs> that was good because uh, I haven't checked what was in there so I was a little bit afraid that I would find something embarrassing in there. But 
that was not the case luckily so um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do uh, you can find the red button under the, uh, underneath the screen and you can click it to subscribe to my channel and I would love it if you liked my video if you uh, enjoyed watching it and leave a comment down below what kind of video you want to see next so that was it for today and I'll see you all next time bye